you said that it didn't raise any red flags for you. Um, the you were on the audit committee at the time, so the 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 process of having uh, the donation receipt uh, sent to uh, sent overseas, um, having officials from a foreign government in the meetings to uh, to um, agree on the, the the donation agreement and the circumstances on on the signing ceremony um, that didn't raise any red flags for you. Um. I wasn't aware of it uh, at the time, and uh, the the um, uh, this matter didn't come before the audit committee, to the best of my knowledge. So no one ever asked if it was illegal. I can't say that. So some so did people ask if, at the time if this was illegal? Uh, I'm unaware of okay. whether anyone did or did not. I'm okay. Sorry. Um, so CSIS recorded a conversation between the Beijing consulate and the donor. Are you aware of that now? Is that the uh, Globe and Mail report of uh, February 28th? Yes. I'm, I've heard the, I've read the article. So in that conversation, the donor was instructed by, by Beijing to make a donation to the Trudeau Foundation for the expressed, expressed purpose of gaining favor or access to the Prime Minister. You're aware of that from the article? I've, I'm aware of that allegation. It was also, it was to give a million dollars, I believe, according to the newspaper report, to the foundation. Okay. So knowing, knowing that now, having uh, read that from uh, those reports from CSIS in the Globe and Mail article, do you, do you see the red flags for the for the donation. Well, uh, first, with the um, benefit of hindsight, in in my opening uh, remark, I mentioned that at no time was there a uh, million dollars offered to the foundation. The, um, the foundation did receive one hundred and forty thousand. That's correct. Uh, and uh, a red flag. Well, uh, the when um, the president and I became aware of that article, we both agreed and subsequently worked with others in the foundation to repay the foundation, repay the donation, the $140,000 um, on the basis of uh, that allegation, right. uh, whether or not it was true that it would, uh, it put us in a position it, that uh, we felt we we must repay this money. Right. It, it obviously raised uh, enough concern that it that CSIS's report was in fact correct, that you felt compelled to return the donation. I, I can't say whether it was correct. But you can say that it was compelling enough that you returned the donation. The article in the newspaper was uh, uh, raised sufficient concern uh, among us and among others involved in the foundation that we felt that was the appropriate course. Right. It, it raised that concern with me, too. Were you part of the committee that selected Pascal Fournier as the chief executive officer? The, um, the search committee, I was not. Okay. Um, does the Trudeau Foundation have bylaws that address foreign influence? No. Uh, we have bylaws, but nothing, I don't recall anything specific in the bylaws that, uh, that deals with foreign uh, okay. Foreign influence. So we have a report from CSIS sa that says that the Trudeau Foundation was used as part of a foreign influence operation, and um, we have no mechanisms in place at the foundation to prevent it being used um, in a foreign influence operation. Yet, um, Mr. Trudeau, when he was here, <clears throat> said it was impossible for there to have been foreign influence, uh, foreign influence operation carried out using the foundation. How, how is it possible that he's correct? Well. Um, I can't uh, uh, speak for him, but uh, my own uh, view is that uh, there has has never been an opportunity for a so-called foreign influence operation to uh, to. Uh, I think we've just uh, discussed the evidence the, of it, sir. 